Whatever you do, Arnold, be useful. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to review the recent Arnold series on Netflix, which by now you should all know I worked on as an archival researcher. After watching all three episodes, I had the feeling that I was listening to the real Arnold tell his story. And when I read and hear many people's comments and reviews, most say the same thing. Arnold truly is at his most candid, more than he has ever been in the last few decades. And he really tells his story intimately. It almost feels like you're sitting in his house, the fire is on, and he's opening up his book you know, sticks his cigar in his mouth and is about to tell you his life story. That's exactly the feeling I got watching the series. The producers, therefore, did a great job in capturing the true essence of Arnold, not the politician and spokesperson that he has more recently become, saying, in all honesty, what is expected of him as a person of great power and influence. It's actually the old Arnold that we get to experience again. The Arnold of pumping iron, the Arnold we grew up watching, you know, his movies blowing everything up on the big screen. The Arnold that doesn't give a shit about what other people think and just speaks his mind. I really missed this Arnold and he is back. The series is divided into three episodes with episode one titled Athlete. And of course, focuses on his harsh upbringing, his desire to leave Austria, and his rise as the king of bodybuilding. This episode, of course, is the one I most participated in. The episode is full of new footage from Pumping Iron, as well as rare photos, and throughout you get this feeling that you were transported back to the golden years of bodybuilding when Arnold ruled the bodybuilding podium. The second episode, titled Actor, focuses on his original attempts at acting and how later, after much criticism and negativity, he finally broke through to become the top paying actor in Hollywood during the 80s and 90s. If you grew up as a kid during this time like I did, idolizing Arnold, this episode will bring back lots of memories. Just like conquering the bodybuilding world, Arnold conquers Hollywood marries Maria Shriver and fulfills the ultimate American dream. Arnold's motto is to stay hungry, and episode 3 titled American can be summed up by this one simple statement. Although episode 3 focuses on Arnold's third stage in life as a politician and governor of California, the episode also delves into his current life. Arnold talks about his failures and how his political career affected his family and ultimately how his decisions broke up his family. I got a deep sense of sorrow and regret from Arnold in the third episode, and you see this real human side to Arnold. He talks about Joseph and his eventual breakup with Maria, etc., and you can tell he was genuinely hurt by this part of his life. You know, people will remember my successes, And they will also remember those failures. In this episode, you can see how he reflects on his life's victories and failures. And like the typical Arnold, although he reflects on these failures and you can tell that they have affected him, he still manages to get up and keep moving forward. Throughout the episodes, this theme of working your ass off, being useful and moving forward no matter what is the ultimate message that Arnold shares with the audience, and it's a pretty good one. It's a simple method that can be applied by all. No matter what life throws at you, if you can get up and do something, your life will improve. It is a simple but powerful message that Arnold shares. Almost coincidentally, Arnold is coming out with a book titled Be Useful This October, where he shares his seven rules for life. I already pre-ordered my copy on Amazon. And incidentally, the photo book that Arnold continually looks through throughout the series is also now on pre-order and is titled Arnold and is a chronological collection of Arnold's best photos and is accompanied by a smaller book that details Arnold's life. 
Both books are available by Tushin. At the end of episode 3, Arnold's current life is described by several as an elder statesman, and this is briefly touched on, and there is no doubt that Arnold in his final years is attempting to give back. Whether it is through his Austrian climate conference, his after-school all-stars program, his active role in modern bodybuilding, or work in the film industry, Arnold continues to try to be a positive influence in the world, in essence, to be useful. You may not agree on everything he champions, but there is no doubt that Arnold will continue to work hard as long as he can. On that note, Arnold also reflects on his mortality and hopes that when he is long gone, people say that he made a difference. I think that this will definitely be the case. So I do hope you have enjoyed my review on Arnold, One Man, Three Lifetimes, and if you have, then please give the video a like, subscribe, and leave me your comments. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Head to www.goldenerabookworm.com for the biggest range of classic old school bodybuilding books as ebooks, e magazines such as Iron Man and Reg Park Journal, high quality bodybuilding posters of the Golden Era stars, merchandise, and classic gym wear featuring Steve Reeves, Marvin Eder, John Grimmick, Reg Park and many other Golden Era stars. For those wishing to build a classic physique, lose fat and build muscle, online training is also available. Collectibles such as rare autographed photos from the Golden Era stars are also available, and to collaborate, please get in touch. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Not all of us have the time to go to a gym or the opportunity to have a coach to teach us one-on-one -on -one. But with the Future Fitness app, it's like having a personal trainer in your living room. From February 11th onwards, you can try the Future Fitness app for only $19 for the first month. Think of what you can accomplish during that first month. So go on and hit my link at tryfuture.co slash GEB to get started. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Deronda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just the, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com.